Hello and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. This is part two of three of Rising KDE Plasma. And I don't know how many of you noticed in the previous, in part one's description where I mentioned, oops, I forgot to let you know that you need to back up .config and .local before you do anything. So if you did notice it, good. If you didn't, well, you have, <laughs> we need those backups. So I created a backup. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, since the last video, I have modified the rice a little bit. I created a bottom dock and I moved the panel to the top, added the global menu, and that's it. And I replaced the old weather widget with something called WP Underground, which is way better, but it's all choice, user choice. So you modify the rice to your liking. All right, so I put my backups in documents, Andromeda-Rice, in two folders called Home and System. And you'll understand more once we get to part three. I'm not gonna say any more, just do as I say. If, if you follow exactly what, I, what I'm showing you here today, you won't have any issues scripting it later on. All right, in Home, I have a backup of .local and .config. And in order to be able to to figure out which files we need, we, we will need to install something called meld. You just type sudo pacman s m e l d, hit enter, type your password, install, and that's it. Now, you launch meld from the Andromeda thing, or if you don't want to look for it, just type m e l d, and there you go. Now, how do we compare? We need to compare folders. So we click folder, we select folder one, which is our modified folder. From our home directory, of course. You if you don't see these files, you just use Control H to show all hidden folders. You select the modified one, and then you select the one you want to modify, which is in Documents, Andromeda Rice Home Config. Got it? All right. Now we hit Compare. Now we need to fix the filters. We don't need to see the same identical files, so we uncheck this. As you see, I have it unchecked. New and modified. That's all we want to see. As you can see to the left, I have the Kvantum theme. On the right, I don't have it since this is ver the, the right side is the unmodified stock vanilla.config, and on the left side is the modified one. So in order to include that, we just right click, copy to the right. Now it disappears. Why? Well, because it's identical now. User is a binary file. You cannot compare this file. This is just a binary file that has been modified using dconf. So right click, copy to the right. Ignore the font forge. We don't use font forge. And when it comes to GTK3 and GTK4, we don't need the assets folder. Why? Because this will be installed when we install the theme, as we did in the previous video. So ignore that, but we do need the settings.ini. To show you, double click it, and you'll see that the modified one now uses Cora uh, cursor theme, whereas the vanilla one uses breeze cursors. Icon theme, Cora, breeze dark, and so on and so forth. You can do it line by line. If you click this arrow, it will modify the one on the right, but instead of doing it that way, we just copy to right. That's all we need. Same thing with GTK4. Copy to write. Okay, now we close these. We don't need them. We're done. Kate, we didn't modify anything in Kate. This is a temporary file. KDE.org, we don't need. KDE Connect, we don't need. KDE Defaults, I don't recommend you back up that one. Kvantum, of course, copy to write. NeoFetch, uh, uh, if you didn't modify it, you don't copy it. If you did, you just right click, copy to write. Pulse, we don't need. Session, we don't need. X settings we need, so we copy to right. This we don't need, all these we don't need. We just need the blue files. The green ones, only when it's a theme, something related to a theme, like we did earlier with Kevantum. This we don't need. Troll tech, yeah, we need that. You just double click, verify that you need that. We see that these are color related things. Of course we need that. Copy to write. Discover we don't need because that's related to discover and each person has a different setting for or different repositories for discover. We don't need that. But Dolphin, we might need that. But in this case, we don't. 
It's just recent files. The GTKRC, we don't need because nothing is in there. Just the date has changed. Same thing for two. Kate RC, Kate RC. Nope. This one is very important. If you have any services you disabled uh, in KDE Plasma, you will need. And as you can see here, browser integration, auto load, false. It's set to false. So it doesn't nag. So we copy to write. KDE globals. Yeah, we need that. It's related to the default colors. Copy to write. KDE global shortcuts. Nah, we don't need that. Unless, of course, you modified something. We do need, however, console RC. Why? Because as you can see here, it will tell console which profile to use by default. And since we modified, we modified it previous in the previous video to use the Andromeda theme. There you go. Right click, copy to right. Uh, this one we don't need. This is a system file. Okay, this long convoluted file name, plasma.org.kde, plasma.desktop applet rc. This file is responsible for what exactly? This. I, you see how I have a dock at the bottom and the panel is moved to the top and how I have the uh, widgets organized and the global menu and everything? But guess what? All these settings are stored in this file. Double click and you can check. You can scroll all the way down and you can see the different applets. See, we need that file. It's very important we include that file. So right click, copy to write. Plasma Shell RC, we need that without even checking. You just need that. And that's it. Now that we're done with uh, .config, next comes .local. Click the plus button at the top left next to the meld icon to start a new comparison. Folder, same, same, home, dot local, same, other, and now we go to documents, Andromeda Rice, home, dot local, open, compare. If you installed Steam and you started installing some games and everything, your modified dot local folder will be huge. So I recommend you do this before you start installing games and the big large files, but anyway. As you can see, it's the share folder that's modified. This we don't need, this is related to Arc. So we close that, okay, close. Aurora, or Aurorae, or however you pronounce it, you don't need that, because again, those will all these files will come when you install the Andromeda theme. So bye-bye. Baloo, if you changed your Baloo settings, you just right-click, copy to right, replace. All right, color schemes, Andromeda colors, that comes with the theme. Dolphin, we just need this file. Copy to right. And we close Dolphin. Flatpak, we don't need. If you don't use Flatpaks, you won't even have that folder. Icons, you don't need. Because, again, this will come when you install the icon theme. These, we don't need. These, we don't need. Kate, we don't need. This, we don't need. Clipper, we don't need. Okay. Can you stuff? No, we don't need that. We don't need that. Console we need. We need console RC and the zero profile, of course, of co and the Andromeda theme, color scheme. So those three files, you hold control and select the three files. The breeze color scheme comes by default with Plasma, so we don't need it. We just right click, copy to right. K screen, we don't need. K wallet, we don't need. This, we don't need. Meld, we don't need. But Plasma, we need, but not everything. Desktop, th desktop theme and look and feel will come with the theme when you install it. So we don't need that. However, we do need our plasmoids. So, okay, so this, we copy the entire plasma folder, but we go into it right here, dot local share plasma and delete desktop theme and look and feel. We don't need those. All right, we just need the plasmoids folder. Plasma shell, yes, we need. Copy to right. Service menus we don't need. System settings we don't really need, but I recommend you copy it anyway, just in case. Recently used we don't need, unless you want to share what you use on your system. <laughs> Wire plumber and everything we don't need. Now we hit load, and there you go. You have just created a backup of your .config and .local folder. That's all you basically need for the system. You need the following folders. Control T to open a new tab in Dolphin. You go all the way up to documents and then you go to the root. You go to user, share, SDDM, 
you copy the entire folder you create uh sorry user and then you create another folder called share and inside this folder you put sddm now open sddm delete everything in it except themes and you open themes you delete everything except andromeda since this is the the new theme that you installed and that's it uh you need to create a folder called etsy create in that folder something called sddm.conf.d and you go to the same location on your system etsy sddm.conf.d you copy kde settings what this file contains of course if you if you set up auto login disable it <laughs> i recommend it because it's going to look for that user uh, on somebody else's system in case you want to share it but what that contains is it tells sddm which theme to use in this case andromeda plasma so you close save those are the files you need to back up this is it for part two in the next part we're going to script everything on how to restore everything post install there you go i hope uh, this clarifies how i do things how i created the uh, lay and rice backup file files backup how i figured out which files i needed which files i didn't need uh, i hope you it wasn't too technical or too long with that being said thank you for watching this video if you want to support the project you can do so of course it's not mandatory but it uh, it would help me get more equipment and get make those videos better and better as time goes by all the links will be in the description below and with that thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one